Hey guys, Tyler here. Here are my Godzilla movie recommendations. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. In preparation for Godzilla, King of the Monsters, I decided to share my favorite movies in the franchise with all of you guys. The Godzilla franchise has many good movies and many bad movies. However, here are the ones I consider to be the best ones in the franchise. If you're new to the Godzilla franchise, you have to see the first Godzilla movie from 1954. The first Godzilla movie is very emotional. It's also one of the few Godzilla movies in the franchise that's also in black and white. This film is not just a good Godzilla movie, it's just a good movie. If you guys want to see Godzilla in its original glory, watch the original Japanese version. It is much better than the American version. The next film on the list is Shin Godzilla. This film, like with the original Godzilla movie, is also very, very dark. The guys behind this production also have a lot of good movies and shows. For example, the director and composer behind the Evangelion franchise is the director and composer of this film. Unlike many other movies in the franchise, this film does not have any monsters, just Godzilla. The next movies are Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla and The Terror of Mechagodzilla. Both movies are fantastic, however, both movies are different. For example, this one is way much more lighter, this one is way more darker, and the main reason why this one is uh, lighter and this one is darker is because of the directors. For example, Ashiro Honda is very famous for serious movies, while Jun Fukuda is known for many more movies that are lighter. Next up is Ghidorah, the Street of the Monster. Ghidorah, the Street of the Monster is the first film in the franchise that has the Street of the Dragon, King Ghidorah. Also, it's the first time that Godzilla, Mothra, and Rodan have a fight against King Ghidorah. Next film is King Kong vs. Godzilla. It's so funny how this German edition of King Kong vs. Godzilla doesn't have the original title on the steelbook. For example, it says the return of King Kong, but not uh, King Kong vs. Godzilla. Also, these German editions of these monster movies always have the word Frankenstein to refer to many of the Godzilla movies. I have no idea, but it's very funny. Very funny. The Japanese version of this movie is way better than the American cut. However, the legal way to get the Japanese version of this movie is this German edition I have. Destroy All Monsters. Originally, this film was the final film in the franchise. However, the rest is history. Godzilla 2000. This film was a response to G-I-N-O. And oh my god, this film is way better than that film. This film is one of the few cases where I prefer the American cut over the Japanese cut. The American cut has better editing than the Japanese version. And also, the Japanese version is much more tedious. Finally, we have Godzilla, Mothra, King Ghidorah, Giant Monsters, All Out Attack. To me, the most interesting thing about this movie is the fact that the director of the Gamera trilogy from 1990s was the director of this movie. And oh my god, like, the production is super good. Super good. Unlike many Godzilla movies, King Ghidorah is the hero and Godzilla is the bad guy. You can't say that for many films in a franchise. Okay guys, these are my recommendations. Uh, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And until next time, 
Take care. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.